What's up, everyone? This is Sonicers15, and uh, I am not doing this. Well, welcome to the second part of my Fallout 3 playthrough. And if you haven't checked out the first part already, I'll put it up on an annotation so you guys can check that out. But uh, what happened was that I kind of forgot to unmute my mic at of this course. part. Run along now, dearie, and have so a there birthday. is nothing on my live recording, so I'm just putting this commentary out here because there's no <laughs> there's no sound coming from me. So I guess I'm just gonna be talking about like stuff that that I think I remember that I said. Not make let this be too boring for you guys. So yeah. Hopefully, uh, my mic, my voice sounds louder than the game volume what now. What are you doing down here, This young would be man? the perfect time to test. I thought it. kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. But then again, I can just I adjust the volume levels in Vegas. Oh, I see. So then I now would sound you're louder. Ten, you're all business. I'd probably well, do that. Well, Mister, we'd better get to it. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank Hang you, on sir. One more minute. I think I hear someone coming. And also. Uh, you know, I <laughs> haven't posted for about a few days, so Are you ready for your finally surprise? gonna post again. Those parts are coming. The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your I'm own BB enough. gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. And I got a Jonas BB gun. found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. I you know how see. tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Yeah, and I said, uh, yeah, I'll want to do it, but I don't know if I said, what do I get to kill? Easy oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> a BB gun, I have a really bad memory. A toy. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. I have no idea what I was doing with the mouse, by the way. And here, I'm gonna finally shoot for the first time. I was so happy. I was like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shooting." So, uh, wow, what was that black screen there? I saw a black screen, but oh well, it's probably nothing. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. Oh yeah. Shotgun would have been nice. This is Couldn't so great. Have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. And I did thank him because he's a douche and Happy birthday, buddy. I did it. I hope you have fun with it. Yeah, I'll hey, have fun with it. Fat, 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 now fat, go fat, on fat. And let me see you shoot something. Yeah. Yeah, the kid will shoot something now. Exist exists. <laughs> wow. I can't even talk. That stinks. <laughs> Existence. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And then look at this one. Aww. Oh, and then boom. Careful. It's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB Like, what the fuck is that thing, you know? Like, when I first saw it. Which is now. And I'm like, am I killing it? And I was. When I was looking at the HP bar, I was like, okay. But then the head takes it out like one shot. So. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. And the camera just Let's went all the way around together. like wow. Hey Jonas, get a picture of We're me. We're gonna get a picture. Try and see what I was trying to do here. I was trying to kinda like look like I'm teabagging, looking up. I was trying to teabag him. <laughs> Smile. And I made myself smaller. That's how the picture got taken. <laughs> Guess what? I'm 16 in the game. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. The GOAT go exam. Now. You've got a GOAT to take. <laughs> got a GOAT to take. Yeah, wait till you see what it actually stands for. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. GOAT. Everyone here in the Vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, 
Pay attention and try not to fall asleep. So you know what the uh, overseer says, we are born in the vault, we die. I said this in the in the Each probably in part one to their that that they may work for the better. There is a lot vault of residents. talking huh. from this game. Sound familiar? Maybe it's only the beginning. I'm not so sure. Hey, it's not but my call. There you Those go. Those are the rules. There are sixteen now. So this year you take the goat. Come on. Oh yeah, the about. goat. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Oh my goodness! What is going on now? That's not the way it works, and it won't do to go around asking questions like that, especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important. It's important, so I can't talk. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. It's my You're home. safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? I understand, you appreciate all you have. Dad. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And well, not what your mother I wanted for you don't want to stay in this fucking vault forever. And I was looking, I'm like, what? That's all I can say? But then I saw you could go down and say bye. So it's... Take care, son. It's, it's good. I got out of here. And good luck. He tells me to get out of here, like GTFO kind of thing. And I, and I pickpocket him, so I steal his stuff. Took his jumpsuit. <laughs> and then the... The other random guy comes in, and I start taking all these things. I'm like, oh shit, I can take these things. And a guy comes in. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Oh, an old man, apparently. Morning, Jonas. Morning, Doc. Yeah, and I failed to take his stuff. Have you had a chance to look over these results? It's just pretty sad. I was just going over it. Something you're worried about? If you guys hear background noise, I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. I'll have my report ready this afternoon. And I found a bobblehead. Sounds good. Let me know. And I'm like freaking hopping on the table, which is completely inappropriate, and uh, clicking on random mess shit. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm like, how do I exit? And I see the red button. It's all good. And it's really funny at this point that I didn't know that I was crouching, so I was going pretty slow. Look at all these things, you could just take all of them. I'm like, whoa! Hi, Stanley. Sorry to keep you waiting. What seems to be the trouble today? I've got this headache that just won't go away. Even with the pills you gave me last week? It's the lights, I think. They hurt my eyes. That's still bothering you. Look at all this stuff this guy has. Oh wait, never mind. I actually I think I failed here doing something. That's actually my stuff. Well, I can run a few oh, wait, no, that was like. wait, what? Yes, I think I'd like that. Will it take long? Oh, oh come I'm on, sure there's no way that all that stuff was I his. I mean, I had some stuff too. Just sit tight. Probably was though. So. I'm really confused with that. Look at this. Just look at it. Show you a real Listen to it. I'm like, what's going on here? Why don't you just leave me alone? Yeah, leave her alone. What do you? I tried taking his stuff. Let's go into the store. I'll show you a good time. These guys are perverts. Because your daddy is the overseer, she thinks she's better than us. I was like, girl, just ignore them, girl. just ignore them. I was trying to move her away, but she kept on going What's back. I'm like, what the fuck? Daddy's girl gonna cry. <laughs> Let's go into the storeroom, Amada. I'll show you a good time. She's nothing but. Don't listen to her, limp uh, uh, him. I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. <laughs> show it to her, Butch. Butch. Tell her. Try to take your stuff. Put hands to yourself. You think you're sp I make I make myself seem like I'm the smallest guy. Yeah, they keep saying the same thing. But I took out my fist and I'm like, fuck you! And I start fucking punching your butts. I beat their asses. Look at this. I was like, I can do this. I got these three guys, man. I'm crouching and I'm beating these guys up. They started raping me though. I try to block Dad. them. <laughs> Please stop fighting. Teacher, yeah, you know, stop fighting. Snakes. Look at these guys, they're just they they can't take me down. <laughs> then I start running away like, like I'm just GTFOing right now. 
Come on, tunnel snakes. This little bitch isn't worth our time. You're, you say, you're just a bunch of assholes. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine, let's go. Yeah, fuck you, tunnel snakes. I start More punching him again. You'll get yours eventually, no! Spaz. Yeah. Hey, it's gonna be fun paying you back for that. It's gonna be punch him in the balls. For that. You're kid. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me. I'm all set really for the goat, sir. Just something everybody has to go through. Oh, I'm feeling kind of sick, Mr. B. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. All right. Take your seats so we can get started. These questions were completely ridiculous when I was seeing them. And I came back here. She's already caught you, so I, I tried. I, I'm like, oh, you could play them third God, person. That's over. I'm like, holy shit, now I can move faster, and I only realized that that time. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> assholes. They are assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. They are idiots. Start walking, you know. We'll go in together. That's what I was saying. I've got other things to do. Back off. Back off. I wanted to punch him in the face. <laughs> you again? What did I tell you about talking to me, huh? I don't want to catch a case of the nerd from you. I think he looks more like a nerd, so he's talking about himself. I've got other things to do. So I go ahead and I sit down. Go ahead. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. Find the classroom no and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure That's ridiculous. Mr. Unless Mr. anyone Brotch. else has an insightful comment, let's get started. And Mr. what are we answering today? A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. Yeah, this What's first question, response? I had no idea what the hell kind of question was it. Like, and not even a question, like, what the hell is this? A quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. So you can read that, what I said back. Yep. I think I picked, uh, I don't know what I picked. Question Up two. yours too, buddy, because I didn't understand. An intern in the clinic. A patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Mmm, I don't remember what I picked at all. So you guys are just gonna have to see. Question three. There you go. You discover a young boy lost in the Looks like he's gonna get raped by a pedophile. And frightened, but also like what the hell? In possession of stolen property. What do you do? Give a boy a hug and then tell him everything will be okay. Okay, that's really poopy. Here I'm like, what the hell do I pick? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Now, I'm like, I don't know this. I said none. Actually, I remember that one. I had a soccer team. <laughs> your grandmother invites you to tea. But you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? Oh. Well, guys, that's the end of the recording, so I didn't even notice that because I was so into it. Well, see you in the next part, guys. Bye-bye.